suitcase. Dirty pre-war park stroller outfit. That sounds cool, but uh... You know, I gotta find out, even though it's dirty. I gotta find out what that is. Well, don't I look dapper? I don't... I don't mind this. I, I guess I'll keep this for a while at least. Although I am dangerously heavy on stuff again. That is the eternal curse, isn't it? Hey, dog meat. how about a small nap? All this ghouls attacking me is starting to wear me down. It's the middle of the night. I'm practically falling asleep here. I got a good eight hours sleep, shall we? Oh, fantastic. That was awesome. And this time no robots were staring at us. No three dog or just crawled in next to us uh, uninvited now we can sleep in peace and quiet in this raider and ghoul infested metro tunnels huh. funny how things work out mm, lovely decor and who are you supposed to be not great with this oh he should no she sorry she took her share of shots yeah, nice. You showed that lady what for. Yeah, cigarettes again. Oh, that's why I'm so heavy, because I'm carrying all these assault rifles. And I have to start dropping some of them in a second, because... Well, you know. They, they weigh so much. Now... Gosh, what a labyrinthine maze this uh, metro area is. It feels like we've made zero progress on our way. Well, I guess that's because they don't really show us traveling on the world map very much. Ooh, natural light, I think. Yes, interesting. This... These huge metro stations never are empty, are they? I'm sure we can expect company once I go up. What? No, it's just dust. I'm just getting jumpy for no reason. Yoo-hoo! Anybody here? Come on. I knew it! Wow, some of these raiders, they take they take shots. Then. Not particularly, I just like you guys to sit down and shut up. To be honest, uh... there we go. Whoa, she ragdolled something fierce. Ah, come on! Yeah, you got that right, bucko. Um, these do such terrible damage. Just not gonna bother. This Blastmaster helm is pretty cool, though. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Let's, uh... Steam packs don't weigh anything, do they? It's... So that won't help me with the weight problem. But I might as well, because I'm hurting. Oh, that could help. That helps something fierce. And some Nuka-Cola. That's That always helps. Mm. Actually, let's equip something else. Again... Feeling a bit paranoid about my uh, ammo situation here. Because we use the old hunting rifle for a bit. Not the most efficient weapon, but we got plenty of ammo for it, so we'll test it. Plus, if we get more super mutants, once we get topside, you know, they'll drop some more ammo of that sort. Oh, here's actually ammo problems might be solved right here and now. Oh, time for another paranoid quick save. Oh, it wasn't the beginning position this time. Ow! No, my bobby pin! I don't even have a lot of them. Oh. Oh, oh. Gotcha. Then when you get to very hard, they snap almost immediately. You have to be so fast on not pressing on them. Microfusion cells? What are raiders doing with... Ugh. Alright, well, I'll grab it all, because... 
Mercifully, ammo doesn't weigh in this game, as far as I know. Even the mini nukes don't, so... Or the missiles, I mean, Jesus, missiles must weigh a ton in real life, but, uh... They're nice enough not to have those encumber you. Well, here we are. Middle gate to the mall! Wow, it's the Capitol building, or is it? I... To be honest, I don't know. And there it is, the... Liberty Monument, and there's some asshole shooting at me. It's a super mutant brute! Whoa! Sorry, but, uh, can you maybe not do that, sir? They're being very impolite here. Yeah! Oh god, it's a war zone out here. Oh boy, I'm gonna need something. I wish I had my fat man with me right now. Um, you boys, I'm gonna break out my big guns now. That's a grenade! Oh, this sniper rifle is useless. What am I even doing here? All right, now I'm mad. Wish that this is a mine. I want the grenade. Grenades, huh? I can do those. Ow! This is kind of in my face. This wasn't a great idea. Oh, well, I took those surprisingly well, those, uh... Oh! Hey, get away from my dog! Jeez, that guy has a minigun! Why am I shooting a shotgun at this range? Frag out! Not gonna lie, that sounded awesome, a minigun pounding at me. Like that in slow motion, um... Jeez! Uh, time to pop a whole lot of tin packs. Ugh, okay, um... Some psycho... Some medics. And here we go. Ready for round two, minigun dude? Oh! Shit, where's dog meat? Dog meat's hiding in a corner, good. Wow, I didn't remember this part being. There's even more super mutants, oh my god! I think it's time to make a tactical museum of technology, all right. This is insane. Whoa, dog meat, you here with me? Good, more of you guys. Okay, that was not a fight we could have, I don't think I would have won that fight. So many super mutants out there. It's insane. Come on, boy, you get him. <laughs> well, he's having fun. And you know what? So am I! How does he see anything with all that blood in his face? Oh, well. Oh, you too, huh? Whoa! Man, this got nuts fast, this uh, part of the game. Ooh, I hit him. It was only such a lousy chance, too. Yeah, you get him, dog meat. Yeah! Dog meat, where are you? There you are. Whew. Oh, it's the Wright Brothers plane. Huh. Nifty. This guy tried to take it for a spin, didn't really help him out. I did it. Oh! 
Oh, well, we can finally unclench for a bit. That was, uh, that was something out there. I'm sure you give you that. Research leads terminal. Yes, let's take a break to read something because... The virus that has been plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to an unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team and identified. After a complete cleanup on the mainframe's core, I am happy to announce that the infection has been removed. The soul of this machine has improved! The infection has been removed! The soul of this machine has improved! So this is, uh, this is hilarious. This is a, uh, one of the weirdest references in the game. It's to Fear Factor EFF right here. Their 2004 album Archetype has a song of the same name where the lyrics are The infection has been removed, the soul of this machine has improved. And B. Bell is, of course, Burton C. Bell, the lead singer, I think, the band? I can't remember the members. I was like, what? When I found this reference in the game. It's so random. But I, I think Mr. Bell likes video games, so that's why they had a random Fear Factory reference. And that's also my favorite Fear Factory album, so I was super happy when I found this too. Like, what? I mean, I know most people like their 90s work, The Manufacture and uh, Digimortal, but um, I'm more into Archetype. That's just what I listened to back in the day when I first heard them, so I think Archetype's at least a fantastic song. A new addition to the Space Flight Gallery, the Virgo 2 Lunar Lander, is now open to the general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and job well done to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out of mothballs and putting it in such fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project, and as a small token of our thanks, you will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Give each other a pat on the back. You've earned it. Again, Mr. Burton C. Bell, who apparently... Someday, once Fear Factory stops being a relevant, well, I don't know, <laughs> are they still relevant? Does anyone does anyone know the band Fear Factory? Or when I say Fear Factory, do you all think of that Donkey Kong album, uh, Donkey Kong song, country song? Anyway, I guess Mr. Bell decided to go work for the Museum of Technology once he was done with Fear Factory. Sure, okay. This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we have been awarded for 2078. If any of these interest you, please stop by and see me so we can discuss it or submit the standard research request for the cutoff date. All submissions must be made by October 2nd, 2077, so now is the time to get them in. A supersonic airliner, a Zax computer prototype, an original model T-45D power armor suit, and a laser pistol prototype. Burton Bell. It's all awfully violent, all of that stuff. Research lead. Okay. I'd like to lodge a formal complaint regarding the firearms exhibition that's planned for temporary display in the atrium. With the world tensions the way they are right now, I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices by promoting them as a tourist attraction. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, that is entirely lost upon me and I urge you to rethink this decision. Wow, um... Well, I guess it's... It's aggressive music, but I guess I'm really promoting violence, so I guess Mr. Burabell... I don't know. I can't speak for Fear Factories. But their music is all about non-conformity and stuff, you know, not really... I don't know, they really think they support violence. That, but I don't know. Maybe I need to listen to them again. Can someone please fix the planetarium projection system? The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions at least once a week. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember and end up taking over manually. I suggest we remove the system and bring back the human element so the audience will feel more engaged. Once again, Burton Bell's research lead. That'd be funny if he has that kind of voice um, in real life. No, he doesn't. I've seen Fear Factory once live and, and, and he's... Does not have a nasally voice in real life, the lead singer. What are we doing in here, dogmeat? I've already forgotten. What the heck? Retrieve the communications relay dish. Alright, I can do that. That I can do. Also, actually, you know, what's my really my favorite Fear Factory song? Ooh. This is the Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001 Personal Stealth Device. Developed by Robert Mayflower, the Stealth Boy regenerates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to the other, making the bearer almost invisible to the untrained eye. Fancy. No one will mind if I just uh, wink it. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, the best Fear Factory song, I think, isn't actually a Fear Factory song. It's um, <laughs> it's a Right Flyer one. Uh, it's a Fulgore's theme from the new Killer Instinct, the uh, modern Killer Instinct. Um, the aircraft above is the original Wright Flyer one designed by Orville and Wilbur Wright. On December 17, 1903, in Kitty Hawk, Northern Carolina, the vehicle performed its maiden flight for a mere 12 seconds, covering a distance of only 120 feet. This historic event marked the first sustained and controlled heavier-than-air powered flight. Oh wow, I always thought the plane was called Kitty Hawk. Is this correct? That that's the place name, not the plane? <laughs> Curious. Yeah, Full Gore's theme, I think, is the best Fear Factory song, really, and... If, really, li listen to D Manufacture for a second, then listen to like Full Gore's theme, and and you'll be like, you could just as well have Burton C. Bell singing lyrics on top of that really aggressive music, like something to the tune of um, I I don't know, like submit your consciousness to the machine, a Hippocratic equation of conformity, or something like that. That seems like. Standard, standard equipment, Fear Factory <laughs> lyrics. Uh, Fear Factory in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Am I still hurting a bit? I guess I am. Let's pop one of those Nuka Colas I got. Mm, yes, always room for Nuka Cola. Is there nothing to loot here in this central? Mmm, fancy lad snack cakes. I can always go for a bit of fancy lads. Ooh, the dog meat. You're kind of cramping my style here. There's an information desk. That might be of use. Trying to find our way to the Lunar Lander. Exhibit guide. Yes, please. Uh, transportation, robotics, flight, space flight. Countdown to excitement as you take for the stars in our brand new space flight gallery. Marvel at man's ingenuity as you view an exact replica of the Virgo 2 moon lander that participated in the first manned moon landing. Dabble with forces beyond your comprehension in our working G4 simulator. Ride or take to the stars in the Copernicus Planetarium. Exhibit sponsored by the United States Space Administration. Kinda hoping it would tell me where that is. Oh well. Gigantomax tickets. Yikes! Cower in fear as all sorts of gigantic vehicles drive at the viewer and give you a bug's eye view of the oncoming traffic. Ooh. Strap yourself in for the ride of your life, all from the safety of our 300-seat Gigantomax Theater. Ride 10 of the world's most notorious roller coasters from the front seat. Sickness bags not included. Colonoscopy. Using our special Gigantomax technology, you'll marvel at the details on our three-story screen as you take a, pa bleh, take a real-time voyage into a very familiar part of the human anatomy. Who would in their right mind pay... To get a first-person colonoscopy tour. That's... Ah! No thank you. Which way should we go, dog meat? To the bathroom first? Sure, why not? Clear. Alright, that was exciting. Actually, I don't need to heal myself. Authorized personnel only. Oh, we're not allowed here, dog meat. We're being all sneaky and stuff. Ooh, it's a super mutant war bag. Ooh. Kind of gross sticking my hand in there, but... Hmm. But this is just some control station. This isn't of any use to me. Turret control system. And Oh boy, here we, here we go. How much time do I have in the episode? Yeah, we got some more time still. This is gonna be a hoot, me trying to beat this. Oh, I can't even try to do it because my science is too low. Well, drat. Can I pop a mint at and just... Oh, oh, let's try. Nope. Well, at least I had a mint at. Museum maintenance? What's this now? The planetarium recording system has been malfunctioning lately, causing the normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or the Chief of Maintenance on duty immediately so the system can be restarted. We hope to have the issue resolved by the start of next year. 
Yeah, what you got there, uh, after numerous complaints and a single pending lawsuit, the Gigantamax Theater's sound system has been lowered from 130 decibels to 120 decibels. Please note that uh, all the employees working in or near the theater uh, should still wear proper ear protection to prevent any permanent damage. 130 decibels? Isn't like an airplane engine 150 when you're standing right next to it, as in your ears explode instantly? Like, isn't like a rock concert not allowed to go over 100? Uh, whatever. Uh, this is a general announcement to any employees who use the men's lavatory facility in a maintenance area. I've logged too many complaints that uh, people are not flushing the toilets after using them. People who use the facility to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment. Uh, to prevent this from becoming a recurring issue, card swipe access will be required for each stall which will log our name, time in a stall, and contents of the bowl until such time that we deem it no longer necessary. Ya bunch of mooks. Uh, due to the increased power consumption from the installation of the Voltec Vault Tour, uh, three new reactors have been installed in a sub-basement section. Uh, this should help prevent any further brownouts or full blackouts in the visitor gallery that we've been experiencing. Uh, thanks for your patience during this transition. Huh. Vault Tour, that sounds fun. Well, there's a dead end dog meat. We're not gonna get to the, um... Tour this way. Uh, that's a. Uh, there's a dead end over there. We just had to climb up. I guess they smash smooshed the stairs on that end. Well, boy, it looks like unfortunately this is a very uh, linear experience. But uh, hey, here we're going to exhibit. We'll just follow this way and we'll get there. Ooh. Interesting. The USS Eben Atoll's flag. Ooh, piece of military history. This flag was recovered from the wreck of the USS Eben Atoll, a new US Navy missile cruiser sunk off the coast of Alaska in 2066 with all hands lost. The cutting edge vessel's loss was due to a nuclear torpedo strike from the US Navy submarine, the USS Interference, during the Anchorage campaign. The submarine mistook the cruiser for an enemy vessel during radio silence and sunk it before obtaining visual confirmation. This ranks as one of the most tragic disasters in US naval history since World War II. Ooh, that's... Also, I like it's called the Interference. <laughs> uh, the submarine that wrecked it. Oh, here's the guy we killed. Thank you. Not gonna grab the hunting rifle for now. Uh, museum information, we checked those already. Let's see, Vault Tour, that sounds exciting. Virgo 2 exhibit to the... What was this way? Halls of today. Oh, looks like this section of the museum's closed. What's here? Oh, more stealth boys. I'll just lots of free stealth boys. I haven't even used those, have I? They turn you invisible for a bit. Let you sneak around. I'm too much of a man of action to use those. Ooh, is that so? Wow, it's like I'm going home. Man, look at the effort they did to build this thing in this museum. Oh, they even got the flashing lights. This is so authentic. Oh, keep out, not part of tour. Wow, that's a, that's a really good chance of survival. Nifty. Yeah, this is a really cool, I love this uh, museum part of the game. Just all this goofy stuff here. It's a really good time. That is comforting to know. But you better wear eye protection when you leave the vault. You might get some smoking holes in your eyes. Oh, um, is this part of, um, a vault decor as well? I don't remember this being back in my home. Ooh, an interactive button. Well, I can't resist an interactive button. The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor sock auto cleaner system for those darn messy kids. Never sweep again. Now, how does that work to prevent, like, 
stuff you don't want to lose from getting sucked up. Ooh, iguana bits. I'll have some iguana bits. Nope, no human in this iguana bits or this iguana on a stick. Why do I have so many iguana bits? Oh well, I'll just oh, mm, always good. Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mm, I can smell the muffins baking now. That was an excellent line reading there, Joseph. Thank you for your contributions. Or don't be. Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest politics. Or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another alt tech innovation. Although they do need to store a lifetime's worth of this uh, content so you don't get bored while living there. Dogmeat, what are you barking about? What a wonderfully calming thought. Hey, wasn't I already in here? Oh no, this place is different. <laughs> Should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family will be safe in a vault tech vault. Yeah. Huh. How nifty. Do I get some sort of cool uh, stamps now for going through this tour? Huh. Ah, see, you could have skipped that if the museum was still active, but then this thing's crashed, so we kind of had to go through there. All right, whatever. Oh, the West Wing. All right. It's kind of quiet. Ooh, what's this thing? A whirly bird? No, it's a verti bird. Whoa, look at that thing. It's so badass. Freaking VTOL helicopter thingy, like an osprey. This is a scaled model of a prototype military transport vehicle being developed by the US military. The XVB-02 Vertibird is a VTOL, that's vertical takeoff and landing, craft with an extremely durable armored fuselage and can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defensive countermeasures. This is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed, and the military hopes to press them into service by 2085. That's kind of funny given how much Everyone hates the Osprey in the U.S. Army. Or I don't know. Have they started using Ospreys more? I mean, there was a couple of Ospreys in um, the first Transformers movie by Michael Bay. Did, those, did that movie help people go like, ooh, Ospreys, awesome. Because I seem to recall that uh, the military really didn't like them. Some stories like that. Uh, Delta 9, Virgo 2 was that way. What is this? Which way... Hang on, which way do we want to go? This way, Virgo 2 is this way, alright. Come on, boy, this way. Oh, wow, the wonders of modern society. Hmm, the, is it really okay to drink in a museum? Come on, guys, this isn't cool. Dogmeat, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> these, these far out space facts are so far out, Dogmeat is, uh... Talking meat is levitating to space himself. Let's see what this. Whoa, dudes, far out space facts. The planet Jupiter is larger than 1,000 Earths. Far out. The outer layers of the sun have what's known as differential rotation. The equator of the surface rotates once every 25.4 days, but near the poles it rotates once every 36 days. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. A neutron star is completely dense and solid matter. In fact, it weighs a trillion times heavier than lead. That means a piece of a neutron star the size of a pinhead would weigh as much as a large building. Far out! Um, cool. The sun loses almost 4 million tons of mass every second by turning hydrogen gas into energy. That adds up to almost 345 billion tons per day. Dude! Man, when you get into astronomy and these numbers, they're insane. Like, the normal human can't comprehend these numbers. If we were to send a message to someone on a planet belonging to our closest neighboring solar system, Alpha Centauri, which is almost 4.4 light years away, we wouldn't receive a reply message for 8.8 .8 years. Well, that's assuming they replied immediately after receiving the message. They might take a time, they might be slow riders. Hmm. There are about 175 billion galaxies in the observable universe, each with as few as 10 million stars up to giants with 1 trillion stars, all orbiting a common center of mass. 
which happens to be a black hole, I believe, in the solar system, which is super scary. I'm so scared of black holes. I don't like it. Ugh. If all of the particles that make up Saturn's rings were gathered together, they would form a sphere about 120 miles in diameter. Dude, that's so far out. That's so small. You would think it'd be huge. Like, 120 isn't that huge. Olympus Mons, a volcano found on Mars, is the largest known volcano in the solar system. It rises 370 miles across and rises 15... What? Oh, it is 370 miles across and rises 15 miles. Yeah, it's not quite 370 miles tall. That'd be... <laughs> what? That's three times taller than Mount Everest, dude! What the hell, man? Crazy far out! Is there more here? No, it's the same ones, I hope. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Olympus Mons is crazy huge. It's nuts how huge that is. Well, now we're probably learned on exciting space facts. And there's random mushrooms here. Don't eat these, boy. I think we'll call this episode here. And ooh, that's one of the planes that's crashed. The World War II plane, I think. Oh, maybe. I can't tell. Too bad. These planes are cool. We're going to call the episode here. And we're going to try and find the Virgo 2 lander and get it dished the, in the next episode as we brave the rest of the Museum of Technology. So exciting. I'll catch you all later. Goodbye!